this is the uh, Special Forces Museum here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. So it's pretty impressive. It looks like a little diorama, and apparently in the Battle of the Bulge, when the Germans asked the Americans to surrender or they would be further attacked, the uh, note to the German commander from the American commander had one word, and the word was nuts. So I suppose in this diorama, that's apparently what the, uh, the note is. I guess Germans don't really understand back then what the word nuts meant. I'll just do a quick walking tour. This is obviously the World War II section. And way up here, it's like a transport plane for paratroopers. Uh, keep going. So now we're getting into the whole uh, Korean War section. Airborne in Korea. Um, and then the whole Vietnam section here. It's got a, you see all the weaponry they had here. M79 grenade launcher, the old uh, M16 in the middle, and the M60 on the bottom. And, and they have this diorama here of, uh, with a Huey helicopter, 173rd Airborne, Airborne Brigade in Vietnam. Guys climbing out of the helicopter. And then we'll just uh, keep walking. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, this is a, a Special Forces First Lieutenant James Nick Rowe uh, was was in captivity for uh, many years. Uh, there he is inside. Uh, model of him. So some North Vietnamese stuff. things that happened historically, and this is one that I had forgotten, uh, the airborne invasion of Granada. And a bunch of uh, revolutionary people backed by Cuba sort of tried to uh, take over Granada. And then over here, uh, this is uh, Operation Just Cause to remove Manuel Noriega from power in Panama. Forget about that. There they are, going in to get him. Uh, oh, this guy kind of scared me a little bit. Over here. This is Panama. And in this display case here, there's actually something quite interesting. The decanter was captured from General Manuel Noriega's limousine by Sergeant First Class Ron Johnson during the U.S. invasion of Panama. There it is. Let's keep walking. This is more about the invasion of uh, Panama. Desert Storm. And this is fascinating here. Um, the Wreckage of Super 61. Do you remember uh, the movie, you know, Black, I think it was called Black Hawk Down in Somalia? Well, this is all that is remaining of the helicopter uh, and the wreck I'll just read it here the wreckage of Super 60 61 was not recovered until nearly 20 years later is repa repatriated to the United States in August of 2013 seen here is the largest piece of the unearthed wreckage the rotor of Super 61 there you have it that's 
kind of uh, kind of cool. So, a little diorama. Of course, a couple soldiers were killed. These two two guys here were killed. And what is this here? when released. Uh, a little bit here on 9-11. Um, look at that. United Flight 93. It's a hell of a photograph. There you go. Uh, it's a pretty cool museum. Well worth uh, a visit.